Holy shit! A6, do you want some chips? Yeah. Picks out most of the game. A6. So, uh, yeah, welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fault New Vegas, this is James Seth Lynch. And, uh, that was the testing of both the Archimedes 1 and the Archimedes 2 laser defense, uh, thingies. Uh, the smaller later lasers were the Archimedes 1, the defense array. Which is only, uh, rigged to defend this station here. Uh, the Archimedes 2. Uh, is the more assault type, or more, more offensively oriented laser, the big blue one. Uh, but it requires a range finder to be able to use, and we don't have one yet. Oh, I'm knackered. You know, I had the worst night's sleep last night. But uh, anyway, now I'm just uh, looting, and in terms of uh, role playing, as I do everything in role playing thing in character. I don't know what I want to do yet, so I'm just going to leave it and come back to it later. Because we already got what we uh, were looking for. And this seems like a big decision, so I'm going to sleep on it. And... yeah. There should be... yes. They are scanner implant. Alright, so. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about, um. Uh. Here's the breakdown of how our whole situation with, uh. Clever Noob is. Uh. This is our. our channel for. Let's play Mod Fallout New Vegas. And this channel is hosted on. This channel is hosted on a uh, the Clever New the Network Forum under Community something and uh, rules and regulations and technical contract and for. All of that is actually should be, uh, from what I understand, hidden somewhere in the user agreement um, uh, for signing up onto the forum just as a regular member. As anyone can post there, but what they post must be relevant to Clever Noob, yada yada yada. So, basically, in some ways, we're an unofficial channel on the larger Clever Noob network, which 
posts, uh, the other, we, it, well, all, all, all channels that happen to be under the community content are, uh, sort of unofficial channels for Clever Noob, for Clever Noob Network, along with Clever Noob Network and Clever Noob's, uh, YouTube channels. Uh, there's no real legally binding contract or anything, but, yeah, uh, ba and, um, Clever Noob Network is now switching their network partnership from, uh, game, the game network, IGN, to the game station, IGS. Now this is relevant, uh, because this basically, uh, means that Clever Noob will be getting a lot more benefits and more people will be, uh, viewing the main channels that, uh, Julian, uh, operates. But in addition, those You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Traffic to those channels means uh, more for interest in the Clever Noob network as a whole and the main forum site, which people will sign up for just like they did with with <laughs> how most of the members got on there, which was Julian's various videos, a which will promote more people. Uh, more people going on the forum and uh, checking out the community content section, hopefully, which will mean more traffic to uh, to this channel, possibly, which is uh, good news for us. Yeah. Hooray! But. Uh, yeah, but how? But in addition, fly with me, let's float down as uh, just how, in, in the same way that uh, uh, IGS benefits through the partnership it's of connection with uh, with Clever Noob and all of their affiliates, etc. Um, we. And clever new benefit from each other because people who find this will uh, hopefully will be interested in click that clicking that link in our description. We'll go to clever noob and hopefully sign up as with all the clever new fanfare that's up there. As to really enjoy this, you have to go to our forum and go to our various fanfare forums, or, or not our our topic and various fanfare topics. And uh, as uh, so, so basically, outside traffic from YouTube watching this, it equates uh, to more people going into the Clever Newt forum, as I explained to Julian originally. And um, just so you know, I am the person responsible for the community content section. Uh, in a way that I created the need and uh, Zuzu created the inspiration for Julian to create the solution. <laughs> you understand? And I'm not talking out of my rear end on this. I've I t had a short conversation with Julian about this. And yes, yeah, he said so. <laughs> In fact, I think it was even on my profile feed where I said this. Anyway, and uh, we're not really, now that I think of it, we're not really a partner, uh, no, not an affiliate. There's no real legally binding term. Uh, I just have to mention that there's nothing legally binding just so that uh, Julian won't uh, start getting paranoid. But uh, yeah, I'm just explaining that, yay! Hopefully more people will be watching as more people will be on uh, Clever New Forums in about uh, 
30 days. I think that, that's what he said. So anyway, we're done with here, and uh, oh, there's one other thing I need, need to explain. I tore both biceps in my arms, and uh, yeah, when you're doing something like Pilates or push-ups, you can work yourself out until basically you give and your head smacks against the ground, because <laughs> uh, you can just work yourself and push your limits as much as you want. Uh, assuming you, you know, warm up. But you cannot do that with weights. You'll very badly hurt yourself, just as I have done. <laughs> so if you hear me moaning or groaning, uh, yeah, you know why now. Because it hurts to move my arms very, very badly. So yeah, back to good springs. And uh hey, there's six, can we stop off somewhere? I need to buy some ammo. And uh some whiskey. There's something I missed some here. There's something to do -do -do. You looking to buy some supplies? I uh, this guy, despite being a cheap you know what, uh is actually the most helpful out of anyone here for telling you what the hell happened. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. I'd like to know about Mr. House. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38. But nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? Okay. Anything else you can tell me about the Great Cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Cons. Ah, uh, okay, ow, ow. <laughs> and uh, that was me scratching my nose and then trying to reach back to the keyboard. And this is me pressing the F10 button. Take it easy now. This is me pressing the F10 button to end the episode. Uh, I'll see you guys later. 